The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not judge, and you will not be judged, because the judgments you give are the judgments you will get. And the amount you measure out is the amount you will be given. Why do you observe the splinter in your brother's eye and never notice the plank in your own. How dare you say to your brother, let me take the splinter out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own. Hypocrite, take the plank out of your own eye first, and then you will see clearly enough to take the splinter out of your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, this afternoon on this 12th week in Ordinary Time on Monday, we begin with the book of Genesis the book of the beginning. And in the first reading that we all are so familiar with, we have the call of Abram. His name has not changed yet. He's known as Abram. And the Lord appeared to him. And when the Lord appeared to him, Abram was asked to do three things. Leave your country, your family, and your father's house. Leave your country, your family, and your father's house. Now, we have to be very careful when the Lord appeared to us. Because when the Lord appears to us, there will be some kind of requirement. There will be some kind of demand. No one can walk with God without fulfilling these demands. Any character that you take in the Bible, the person has to let go of something or someone which can be very precious to him. And here Abraham was asked to leave three important areas of his life. Country, family, and father's house. Not easy. Not easy. But he will not be able to receive the blessing that God has promised if he's unwilling to let go of this tree. Remember what the reading says? I will bless those who bless you. I will curse those who slight you. And all the tribes of the earth shall bless themselves by you. This blessing or this promise cannot take place if Abram remains where he is. He has to move out. He has to come out from the familiar environment and only God knows because we don't have any clear direction from God. He was just asked to leave. 
and take on a trip where the Lord will show him. The only consolation that Abraham had at that point is his own cousin known as Lot. So at least he has someone to begin with, to journey with, not alone by himself, but to, be, to bring Lot along with him. But somehow we all know that even then, there will be a time where they will both separate. Uh, he brought his nephew, actually, sorry, not cousin, uh, his nephew, Lot, along with him uh, in this journey of unknown. The other important thing that we see in the reading is that Ab Abram was 75 years old when he was called. He was not a young man like Aloysius Gonzaga. He was 75 years old. Uh, normally, at the age of 75, we would like to spend the remaining days or years uh, with our loved ones. We have settled on everything. We want to have a quiet moments, a quiet time. And here, God invites him to do three important things at the age of 75. So it was not easy for Abram. It was not easy. But he has to take on that journey. A journey that God eventually will show. And that is why today we call Abram or Abraham the father of faith. Because he trusted on the very word of God. That if God is asking me to take on this trip, this unknown journey, I will take. I will take. You don't hear him saying, well, let me think about it. Or to hear him saying, well, this may not be a good time. Maybe let me uh, pray about it. You know, sometimes when God calls us to do something uh, uh, for his people, or when God invites us uh, for a specific purpose, you know, we tend to uh, give some kinds of uh, reasons. It may not be the best time. I may not be the right candidate. I'm not that potential. I'm not that talented. My age is catching up. We give lots of excuses. But each time when we give this kind of excuses, the work that God has planned remains unfulfilled because we are not responding. The plan and the work that God has for each one of us, and if we don't take the plunge, that particular work or that particular apostolate remains unfulfilled because we have given some kind of reasons. So today we need to ponder we need to look back at our lives because God continues to appear not only to Abram but God continues to appear to us in various ways and he invites us to take something that you and I are not prepared even for us to come up with this online mass suddenly it was unprepared actually it was unprepared. We never thought of having an online mass at this time. But that is what faith is all about. Because 
as we received a request. Can you have this online mass for the sake of my family members who are sick? That's how we are having this online mass. Totally unprepared. Even the multimedia people, not all of them knew about this online mass because it was not communicated to them. We were in the chapel for prayer and then it dawned. It dawned to us, let us, you know, when the request came, can you have this online mass? This is where we are. Totally unprepared. And this is what happens when God at times calls us. He need not come when you are all prepared. And this is the problem with us. Because we want to be prepared before to answer to the call of God. Abraham has no time to prepare himself. This God came in, just called him, pack your things, leave your family and move. Just like that, totally unprepared. And at times, God comes to us in this way, actually, when we are totally unprepared. And when we respond to that, that's where faith comes in. When you and I are not prepared and still take on this road and still believing that God will do something about it and still believing that God will guide us and God will show us the way. That is what faith is all about. That is what happened to Abraham. Abraham did not ask for GPS or waves. Uh, how, which direction should I take? Whether north, east, south, west? No. He just packed his things and went. Totally unprepared. That is what faith is all about. Faith is not something that we really need to know everything about it. And then I answer to the call of God. And then I say yes to this call of God. Look at the story of Joseph, the first father of Jesus, totally unprepared. Totally unprepared. And then, pam, comes the dream. Look at Mary, our blessed mother, doing the house chores. Suddenly, the angel Gabriel appeared to her. Hail, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Totally unprepared. So the call of God comes at times when we are not prepared. But what will be my response? That is the most important thing. When you and I are not prepared and God comes and tells us something, what will be your response? Here in this live streaming mass, our response is, okay, let's do it. A request has, has come for this family to benefit the spiritual mass. Can we do a live streaming? Immediately, I asked the members who were here, uh, Teresa and uh, Christine, Mariana, Rina, can we do it? And they said, yes. Totally unprepared. No one knew there's going to be a mass here. Totally unprepared. At times, God calls us just like that. Not when you're all prepared, not when you're all ready, not when you have all the answers, when your faith is so high, and then you answer to the call of God. No. The best person that we can look at all this, one of them is Abraham, the father of faith. You look at St. Joseph, you look at Mother Mary, you look at some of the spiritual giants that we have. They were all unprepared and they all responded, okay, let's go. That is the mark of a true disciple of Jesus. So, my dear friends, as we ponder and reflect God's word, as we read 
the book of Genesis, this coming days. Let us ponder, let us reflect. What is the message of God for me at this point of my life? What is it that the Lord is telling me that I'm not looking at it? What is the invitation of the Lord that the invitation has been given, but I'm procrastinating? I'm delaying it because I feel I'm not competent. What is it? If you think that we are not competent, that we are not qualified, do you think that Abraham was qualified? Remember, God qualifies those whom he called. Always remember that. God qualifies those whom he called. So let us ask this great man that we have, Abram to Abraham. Let us ask him to pray for us this afternoon, together with St. Aloysius Gonzaga, whose memorial we celebrate today. Very interesting to read his life. And I hope, my dear friends, that you will take time to read his life of Aloysius Gonzaga, how he gave his life for the sick during when Rome was besieged uh, with a kind of sickness, a virus. And he gave himself to the corporal works of mercy, although he had the chance not to do it. But he knew that he's called to do that. A young saint, a very inspiring saint. We all should read the life of St. Aloysius Gonzaga, a young Jesuit. So we also pray for all of Jesuit priests and brothers that God may bless them with more vocation towards their way of life. So let us pray and let us ask God to bless us.